Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. So this is gonna be March's cabin crew vlog. I'm just getting ready. I've just gotta put brush my teeth, put some lipstick on, take all my bags to the car, and drive down to London because we're going to New York. So we're going to New York today. I'm really, really hoping there's gonna be a cabin crew member that hasn't been before and wants to go see all the stuff. So I've never been to New York. So I really wanna go see everything, like Statue of Liberty, Central Park, Times Square. I really want that like Times Square photo. But yeah, so anyway, before I get on with the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok is just Jessica Jessica X. As you would have seen from like my roster reveal, for March, I have got an amazing month. I've got like New York today, then I've got Barbados next week, then a couple days off, then Barbados again. Then I've got Tel Aviv and I've got standby blocks, so God knows where that's gonna take me. And then I've also got Maldives. So we're gonna be doing the most. I'm really hoping this is gonna be best vlog yet. December was a good vlog. Well, we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that because I literally mentioned that every video now because I'm still heartbroken over it. But yeah, so I'm just drinking my coffee, watching Love Island, try to catch up, I'm not caught up yet. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the drive and yeah, go to New York. So I will see you in New York. from New York. So I'm gonna show you the room. I'm so tired, but I've had a really good flight. I went into the flight deck for landing. So that was really cool to see like Manhattan all lit up, like really, really cool. If like your crew and you ever get the chance to do it, definitely go in the flight deck for landing for New York. Oh, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna show you the hotel. It's a little bit dated. Coffee stations, not coffee stationing. And there's no water in the room. Thank God I took some water off. And I don't have a fridge. And I'm gutted because I brought some food with me and there's no fridge. So I'm so tempted to get some like wings or something. I'll be really naughty though if I do that. I should just go to sleep. But I really would love some chicken wings or something. But anyway, let me show you the room. So I've just got my stuff here got the window there's no view outside so I won't even attempt to show you this and why is she like right here we go sorry she won't focus in properly here's a nice big bed coffee station is um yeah a little bit I ain't really got Oh gosh, right, okay, I don't know what's going on with my camera guys, but yeah, so the coffee station's okay, but anyway, just got a little bit of space in here, this is also where the safe is, there is nothing else in here guys, and then um, in here, you've just got the, oh wow, the bathroom, but at least we have a bath, we do have a bath, so yeah, ooh, and that is it. So I'm hoping to go do some exploring tomorrow. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna come with me or not. Some of the girls are going to do yoga. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really wanna see obviously some sights, but whatever I do, I'll take it with me. And I'll see you in the morning because I'm gonna maybe get some wings and sleep, watch some TV and sleep. And what better way so I'm watching the hills in bed and I look crazy. So I went to bed here local about half 10, woke up at like quarter five, just could not get back to sleep. But this is usual for me in America and then I'll just sleep before pick up. Got some orange juice, I've ordered a Mackey's and these are like how they come in Mackey's which is really weird, they're like a biscuit and then I got them at Chicken Griddle because um, I think that's what they're called. I don't eat pork, so, and then also a hash brown. It's really unhealthy breakfast, but I'm gonna go to the gym in a bit and then go and explore. But yeah, that is me for now. 
<laughs> Four minutes. I don't know what coffee. ticket we buy though. Got New coffee. York accent. <laughs> New York attitude now. Coffee. Cocky and coffee. God, I look crazy. My hair is literally crazy right now, but I've just got to Barbados. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually in Barbados. Let me show you this room though, because this room is beautiful. Look at the shower. Got a um, bath as well, which is so nice. Nice big sink area. There's, uh, I don't really know what's in here, just safe and stuff little coffee station which we love and um, yeah nice big bed but more importantly look at this view oh my god and the Barbadian flag <laughs> how nice is this oh my god oh my god literally Done in. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm so lucky to be in a hotel like this. Amazing. So actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a shower, get changed, and then we're going to the beach for some drinks. 
I just, oh, it's amazing that this is my job, man. It's crazy, literally crazy, but this is stunning. I can't believe I've got a balcony for one with a view like that. We're just, we're just gonna soak that in for a minute, but yeah, I will check in with you in a bit. I can't actually get out. I don't know why I'm going to break my nails, but I'm going to go do the horses now. So I'll film that for you. I think it's just where they wash them and feed them and stuff. I'm not really sure, but I see all the crew doing it all the time. So we're going to go do it. And then the sunrise and sunbathe until pick up because she needs a tan. She needs a tan. So yeah, see you in a bit. I do actually have a job. I'm actually in the room next to the room I was in last time, so my room is there. I literally just got, it's about half six in the morning. I can't sleep because I can't turn at home. I've got a little morning coffee. It's called water. Get bit of protein. See you all. And I'm tired, but I can't sleep. So I'm just chilling on the balcony. I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to swim with It's actually warmer today than when, it, when I was here the other day, I feel like. So I'm going to have that. It's 25 already. The UV is zero though at the moment. It went up to about 7 or 8 when I was here last time, but it is it's hot already. Today looks like it's, it's going to go up to 29, so I'm leaving and I can get a tan. But yeah, so I'm just chilling. Uh, here we are again in the same pajamas, looking crazy. But I am in Islamabad, so I ended up swapping my. What was I supposed to do? I think I was supposed to be there and back into a Tel Aviv. And I swapped that to an Islamabad, Islamabad which is Pakistan, on because I saw it on the open swaps, because I've never been here actually. And I've got so many family, no, not family. I've got so many friends from Pakistan and stuff, so I thought it'd actually be cool. Oh, oh okay, sorry, my face is really bruised. I basically got Botox done yesterday here crow's feet, bunny lines, and then I got my navels done, navel folds, whatever they're called, so that's why they're a bit bruised, because they aspirated here by accident, I think that's the word, but right, I'm going to show you the room, because the room's stunning, the hotel is gorgeous, so we technically are advised not to go out here, just because obviously there's danger zones and stuff like that, but there's a place apparently where we can go. Captain's got family that live here that work for the UK Embassy and they've invited us out to a party there at the military base tonight. So I think we're gonna go there. We're gonna do dinner and then we're gonna go there. And then tomorrow, I wanted to go and see things like the mosque and stuff like that. Cause I think there's a guy who takes the crew around and does all of that, but I don't think any of the crew want to, which I completely get because, you know, technically really, I suppose we should be leaving the hotel. So 
yeah so i'll probably end up just chilling tomorrow there is a pool i'll show you the pool as well but anyway the room is a mess because i've got in and i should i thought let me film the room but then i was just so tired so this is my big ass bed like i'm sorry it's massive hold on let me stand up and show you big ass bed so it's absolutely stunning. Look at the headboard, crazy. And then here you've just got basically a little seating area outside. I think you can see the pool from where my room is actually. So the pool is like just over there. If you can see it through here. And then these just some of the hotel grounds. And then, um, oh my God, look what they've gave me in my fridge. I'm so buzzing. That's some of my food and these are my waters off the plane. Although they did give us a bottle of water in the transfer, which was really nice. Gave me some Coke, some sparkling peach water. I love sparkling peach. Oh no, it's sparkling fruit juice peach. Amazing, some Diet Coke, 7 Up, some uh, lemon malt, whatever that is. So yeah, I wasn't about that. I'm probably gonna eat some yogurt in a minute and have one of them and a cup of tea. Oh my God, I'm sorry guys. My crap is everywhere. I hope you haven't seen no dirty knickers there. Um, a little coffee setup station, what we got. Got some less cafe. We've got, I have took some tea bags with me actually this time just to, and some milk, so. And then obviously they gave me a bottle of water, which is amazing. I love it when they give us water. And then I don't think there's much going on in these safe. Um, just like laundry stuff. Yeah, again. And then bathroom is stunning. We've got a, oh, I nearly slipped on the water. We've got a shower. We've got toilet. All my crap everywhere as per usual. I've just had a bath, so sorry if you've seen hair in there because I've just shaved. But yeah, so really nice hotel. The flight was, oh, it was so lush. Our passengers were so nice. Like literally we were just like bantering with the passengers all flight. So sweet. Hotel staff are lovely. Really, really nice trip, really nice crew. So yeah, it was really good. So yeah, so we're gonna, Go get some dinner, which I'm so excited about. I love Pakistani curry. So I had a friend who I worked with when I was younger and he was so sweet. He used to bring me in curry all the time and stuff um, just cause he knew how much like, I just wanted to be Asian and eat Asian food all the time. So yeah, I'm really excited to get some proper authentic Pakistani curry and then go and see what it's like to party in Pakistan. I mean, how many people can say that? It's in the US, um, uh, UK embassy, but still, like, I think that's a pretty cool experience. So, yeah, that is just me. I will take you with me as per usual. And, yeah, see you later. I just started working out, I was working out in the men's bit by accident and I just realised there's a female gym here so it's actually quite big and there's a little studio with some more equipment in so I'm just doing upper body because I did leg steak full yesterday I'm bruised on my face from where I had my navel fuller done navel folds, whatever they're called but yeah, so I'm just going to work out now do some upper body probably stick to my routine that I'm doing with my PT and yeah, yes, that's what we're doing. Oh yes, yeah, so what we're doing later as well, I'm working out now, 
six o'clock we're meeting up for dinner and we're going to a restaurant that's up in the mountains and it's all lit up it's so beautiful like it looks beautiful anyway and the pictures look beautiful so i can't wait can't wait to get some proper authentic food with a view so yeah i'll see you there i'll take you with me hi guys we're just staying like this tonight. I can't bother to do my makeup, even though I've got bruising. I can't bother to do my makeup or anything. So yesterday was just mental. It was just absolutely mental to me. So like I said, we got in, but I didn't film much. I think I put a couple clips in of like the bed or whatever, but I didn't want to film too much because I was a little bit scared, obviously being in these like I don't know if they're military bases or like people who basically really people who are quite high up in like the governments and the embassies and stuff like that so I didn't really want to do too much filming because obviously trying to respect everyone's privacy and we were in some like big rich house party thing so <laughs> I don't know I don't know but it was so interesting I always wanted to go to these kind of parties where people walk around with like canapes and stuff and this was one of those parties so it was pretty cool some pretty important people there met some pretty cool people like majors in the army met an artillery major um just talking to people it was so interesting as i'm yawning i'm saying that so yeah sorry my sleep is like all over the gaff but yeah, so we're going to a restaurant tonight. I'm so lucky because the crew are quite up for things on this trip and we are staying in the safe zones. We're not going out into the zones where, you know, we can't go out and we're going in big groups as well. Because I know obviously Pakistan, we can't really go out very far or whatever. So we're sticking in big groups and we're sticking with people who know the area and safe zones and the hotel are taking us everywhere. So yeah, we're safe. But anyway, we're going to some restaurant tonight that is up in the hills, in the mountains. It's all lit up and I think it's going to be stunning. So I'm really excited. I'm literally, I've got to go downstairs in a minute actually. I just got to put my jeans on, go down. I'm kind of tired, which is good because tonight I'll need to sleep because I'm leaving in the morning. So we've actually had quite a decent amount of time. We've had like nearly one full day today, like one clear day. And yesterday we got here we was at the hotel by like what half eight maybe um, maybe something like that so quite a lot of time but obviously you just try to catch up on sleep as well so yeah i'll take you with me show you what food i get because obviously it's for me like when i watch vlogs i'm like i want to see people's food maybe that's just me but i really love authentic local food especially in asia so yeah i'll take you with me and uh yeah, let's carry on with Pakistan until home time tomorrow. This is what we're doing. Wow, you can see even worse than that light. Oh my God. We don't care on this channel, do we? We literally don't care. So I'm awake because I can't flip in sleep. We got home last night at what? Well, back to the hotel, not home. Maybe like half nine-ish, something like that, I think. Oh no, maybe it was about 10. I had a quick bath and then got into bed. My bruise is really bad today. And then just literally slept, but I only slept till about 20 to two. And I've been up since it's now half five. I've just ordered room service, some breakfast, got some toast, muffins, pastries, pineapple juice, cappuccino, because we're obsessed with cappuccinos. But yeah, and I'm just, my wake up is 6.45, pick up is 7.45. So I'm just literally getting, I'm gonna eat this, slowly get ready. 
and just yeah chill chill before I go home flight home hopefully the passengers are as lovely as they were on the way out and yeah I've got a good crew anyway so we'll get each other through it but yeah that's me and our next trip is standby so it's going to be a surprise one so let's see where we go on our next one airport standby followed by four home standbys hopefully we get a nice five day trip was it three home standbys four or three I don't know hopefully we get a nice long cool trip but yeah let's see where we're gonna go <laughs> So I feel really bad because I haven't done a lot of like talking on this Maldives part trip. I brought my mum with me so I've just been so busy kind of like hanging out with her and the crew. Oh my god, we had literally the best crew. Oh, we're just having so much fun. So we got to Maldives yesterday morning and then uh, what did we do? We all sort of got back, unpacked our stuff had a shower and then we all met up at the bar just having drinks and stuff like that then we did we go for lunch we went for lunch and then we uh what else did we do then we went to the beach some at the beach then i came up me and my mum came up a little bit early we had a bit of a siesta before um dinner then we all met down for dinner it's so nice like the food here is like a mix of different Asian cultures and then you've got like a little bit of British food as well like there was like shepherd's pie and chicken casserole and stuff like that but food's really good and it's all like buffet style there's not actually a massive lot to do on the island there's the underwater restaurant which I think we're gonna try and go to so 
I'm gonna probably book that. So we'll probably do that and I'll show you that. And then, what else is there to do here? Some of the crew are doing a, suns a dolphin sunset cruise later. We're not gonna go on it just because me and my mum have done quite a lot of like dolphin cruises and sun, like that sort of stuff. Maybe if it was like a booze cruise, like I did one in Bahamas years ago where we did like a booze cruise on a private island. We probably would have definitely done that, but we're not gonna do it. I think the dolphin cruise thing that they were on about was like 90 US dollars. The underwater restaurant we're gonna go to is like $125 for lunch. We decided we're gonna do lunch there instead of dinner. So you can do like lunch or dinner there basically. And I think it's like a set menu, but apparently you can mix and match on the menu. So yeah, but I'm filming this by the way on my cam on my phone because I don't know where I put my vlogging camera. I don't know if I've left it at home or I've not properly looked at it there. But yeah, so today we woke up. So yeah, yeah, so last night, sorry, we had the hotel had like a it, they were just playing old bangers. They had like live music, which I think I videoed for you anyway, so you will have seen that. They had like a band playing of like cultural music and stuff like that. That was amazing. And then um, we also, they also played like, they had like a DJ after that. And they were just playing like proper British old songs. It was so good. Like, uh, obviously they're not all British songs, but like Mambo Number no. 5 and like Venga Boys and Queen and just, oh, just all the old bangers. It was amazing. So we had so much fun. Like all of us were dancing. I think their music stopped at like 12. And to be fair, by like 12, we were like, right, we're dead. So we all went back to our rooms, but we were all, you know, when everyone's just on a vibe and everyone's just a really good level of like, just merry and just having fun. Like it was just all night laughing, so much fun all of us like all the crew our klingons which klingons are people who we bring with us so like my mom is my klingon so we're all just having so much fun absolutely loved it like oh, which is great and then today all of us feel fine nobody's hungover everybody feels fine i think because the, the drink is quite watered down here so i was actually teetotal like i decided last weekend that i didn't want to drink anymore but the crew basically bullied me into drink <laughs> and you know what i'm i'm not upset about drinking because i actually had the best time with the best people so i just came upstairs because i didn't poo to be honest with you <laughs> and i came upstairs and i've just gone to the toilet and i just thought i'd film this little clip because i know i haven't done much talky clips for the maldives trip so i will try and do a bit more talky clips but i'm just literally sat in my room and then this is oh, i don't know if you can see basically my um, I'm not on the balcony but my uh, we've got these little co like cabana looking things so we're gonna just sunbathe for a bit I'm gonna go back in the sea the sea here is literally like a bath it is literally like a flipping warm bath it is so so nice so I'm just gonna go stand in it as you can see I'm starting to turn I'm gonna go back in the sea for a bit because I feel like I can stay in this sun longer then. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. We've had some lunch. I'm just gonna, yeah, sunbathe for a bit, put some oil on and uh, yeah, just get ready for dinner later. I'm gonna have to also book lunch at the Underwater Hotel if we decide to do that, so. So yeah, that is me. <laughs>
guys. So um, I am just walking. I actually see a paddle boarding bit because I'm gonna go, one of the crew has asked me to go over and go and take some photos of them. So I'm just going over. It's so hot, I'm literally just catching rays. I've just been in the sea. Oh my God, the underwater restaurant. I keep saying hotel. The underwater restaurant was so, so nice. The food was amazing. The wine. I'm supposed to be going to tell you all as well. But uh, yeah, it was amazing. Loved it, absolutely loved it. So, I get scared, I'm gonna like, walk into people, get video phone there. But yeah, it's just so stunning. As you can see, I feel like I'm just in paradise. Well, I, uh, I am in paradise. This is literally as close as, or it is. I mean, when can anybody say they've gone to the Maldives? I really thought if I ever was lucky enough to get this opportunity that it would be um, on a honeymoon, but it's for work and it's fine because we don't have the look of our life anyway, but yeah. So sad to say bye to the Maldives, you can see them out my window. Oh. So sad, time to go home, this is honestly been the best trip. Probably one of my favourite trips, my favourite cruise. Just amazing. Like, I can't even tell you how amazing this trip has been. So, I feel like I haven't even really been on my phone. It's been that good, I've not been on my phone. And you know me, I like to try and vlog everything for you guys, but I've just really been in the moment and I just feel like I needed this trip. So, done. Time to go home and the vlog will end here as well because this is the last trip of March for me. Or well, we're in April now, it's April 3rd, but. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, you know how it is. And uh, yeah, follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. It is just Jessica Jessica X. Bye guys, have a beautiful time.